Okay, hey everybody. Uh, this is where we're up to. Okay, we've cleaned all of that rust off. Um, scrub master up with the wire wheel and the drill. Um, wire wheel on the angle grinder. And in places I couldn't get to, I've used. Small sandblasting gun. Got a few different attachments you can see here. And, uh, yeah, this thing about thirty dollars or something like that. That's super cheap then. Yeah, works quite good. What it is for a cheap gun, I'm happy with it. Uh, but yeah, as I said, I scrubbed it all and then I treated it and then I washed the rust converter off and I've primed it and uh, as you can see it's a little bit thin up I need to put another coat on that I've got a tiny bit left this is a uh, red oxide primer I tried a lot of different primers yeah and yeah very expensive ones Carl Gal all sorts of things and this is what works, it's just a cheap enamel red oxide primer and it works good. Uh, you know, I've painted things, well, you know, things that have been rusty, I've treated them, primed them, then been out the weather for ages, years, and they still haven't gone rusty, you know, so they didn't even get a top coat. So yeah, this is a good, good product. Funny thing is it looks orange here, it's not orange, it's a, yeah, brownie red. It's funny how the camera changes the colour of everything. Yeah. yeah. And uh, as I said, I've cut this whole inner panel off oh, up to the pillars. I will have to cut windows in the pillars um, to be able to do the plug welds. But I'll get everything else welded in, get this panel put back in uh, before I do any of that. Try and keep the structure as much as possible. So, yeah. This one here is the inner panel. This is the old quarter panel. And I've kept that here for the moment as a template because there are pieces um, inside the pillars where you can't you know especially up this end you're not going to be able to oh you, yeah you can get you can get to the to the the fault welds and plug welds here but it's got to join on the inner panel somewhere. Yeah, as I said before, I'm not going to lift the cabin. That was my original plan, but it's decided against that. Yeah, anyway, this gives you just a little bit of an idea how many spot welds there are, how many drill holes you have to make. Yeah. And yeah, and you don't always, like some of these just, it'll come straight off if you get it. If you drill it exactly centre, you know, you miss them a little bit. Yeah, you have had to hammer this through there, actually break the handle, you know, through hammering it just to separate them because they still hold on in, in places. Yeah. Yeah, I haven't primed this one yet. I'm going to prime the inside of that. That's actually the outside there. As I said, I'll get I'll get all the quarter panel all welded. Get this piece back in, and then I'll cut some windows in the insides of the pillars so I can finish it. Yeah, I had to actually cut a piece out of the wheel arch just so I can I, I couldn't get in there with the drill to drill it 
Видно. Yes, as I said, I've cut a piece out of the wheel arch, welded it back in after I drilled the holes. I also found this was this edge from about here to here was very rusted and and all bent and busted and you know because this quarter had a huge dent in it starting here somewhere um, and this is the wheel the guard that used to scrape on the wheel and uh, there's a few cuts underneath there just to be able to bend it which I haven't welded yet because uh, I've got a feeling it's not going to meet the guard and I'm going to have to modify it to meet the guard this top piece when I cut it off it popped out uh, a good half inch or more and it's probably popped out to where it's supposed to be yeah, uh, because the, the quarter panel will be or well, it should be the right shape so I'll make this roof edge fit the quarter panel and not the other way around um, I'm actually hoping looking at this in that I might actually be able to, because this is where the, your plug welds are going to go. I've got to drill holes all the way along the bottom of the new panel. Yeah. I'm hoping I can actually get to it for this hole without having to cut that bottom panel out. Bottom panel out. So, anyway, that's yet to be seen. And here we have our brand new quarter panel, fresh out of the box. That's been sitting in my garage for probably close to a year now. And, uh, yeah, eighteen hundred dollars worth. So I'll be treading that very carefully. As you can see, it's not a, a panel van quarter. You can't get a panel van quarter new. Um, you can get a gate, which is basically the same except for this pillar area. And uh, yes, yeah, so I'm going to have to cut just above this ridge here, up here somewhere. Cut that off, and then fold that. And I'm going to have to put a straight edge along there. Make sure I get this edge perfectly straight. So it's going to have a fold there, and I'm going to cut off up here somewhere. And, uh, is that I'll cut more than I need. I'll fit it into place and it probably won't go right into place because it'll be hitting the other panel. But yeah, I'll cut it off a bit at the time until it meets up with the old panel because I left you know, part of the old panel you know, in, inside the pillars. And uh, yeah, I'll have to butt weld that from the inside afterwards. And, very carefully I might add. So, yeah, even these plug welds will be uh, propping a, a wet rag up against the outside of it and I'll be using the air on the inside to cool it and, you know, one plug at a time because yeah, it would only take a little bit of heat this is a huge it sort of looks flat, but it's not. It's actually a bastard of a shape. It's got a wing part that comes out. There's three different curves in this, um, which is why I had to cut the old one off. I couldn't get it right, and the panel builder said he couldn't get it right either. So it's just a bastard of a shape. But yeah, it, it's still sort of being fairly flat. It would buckle very easily. With, only a little bit of heat, so going to have to be extremely careful. Anyway, that's where we're up to. Uh, thanks for watching.